We're going back to the years before the Avignon Papacy. Let's yes. Go. Sure. Still accurate. <laughs> hey, look, there have been more than one period in time where there were three popes at <laughs> once. <laughs> So ridiculous. <laughs> yes. The papacy was kind of a joke for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Howard Arbiter. Like, he, he might get got soon. No, he's not getting okay. got. He's okay. about to get. <laughs> <laughs> How did he not hire sure his understand. own personal flyer to follow him around? <laughs> what, <Wouldn't> you? <laughs> no, I said how. Now why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why. It's obvious. <laughs> and that's not even a question. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Oh. I said this forest looks so well rendered, yo. Oh. Aw, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How about now? Give me the polygons. <laughs> More. <laughs> no. More you polygons. Were. You were. <laughs> More jaggies. More. <laughs> ah. These are shitty egg. <laughs> eh, just a little bit. <laughs> One thing that I really like about Halo in general, the enemies don't just stand around like in other shooters. They actively try to hunt you down. You say is that guy was just standing there? He thought I was down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he thought he was! <laughs> I told the story last time about the Bloodborne enemies that just would not attack me, right? Yes. It, it was still weird. <laughs> because either apparently they see me from 500 yards away and charge me, or they're just like, eh. They shed our brother's blood, and for <laughs> they must die. Talking to us? Yeah. They murdered all these elites. Is he your friend? I thought he was I'm the Master to Chief. I mean, I'm the Arbiter. <laughs> See, look at my weird hand. I'm the master arbor arbor chief. I'm very confused. I looked away for like ten seconds. You missed that whole cutscene. No, I saw the guy get killed, and then I saw the arbiter. I think, and then I'm just confused now. It switches back and forth, Ariel. Okay. <laughs> We're the arbiter. We're gonna go back to chief one last time, and then finish the game with the arbiter. Which really pissed a lot of people off that you finished the game as the Arbiter. Really? Yeah. A lot of people didn't like the Arbiter at first. Like, it took years for people to warm up to him. I mean, that's how it works. Even though he's literally, like, the best part of the game. Like, the cycle used to be exclusive to, like, Zelda games, and now I've noticed it happens to fucking everything. Something comes out. No, comes it was new. just the most prominent with Zelda because Zelda fans don't know when to stop talking. Yes, <laughs> but I am. I'm firing shots, Ariel. I'm. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of fans are whiny and entitled, and I think the game industry as a whole is becoming ridiculous. <laughs> um, but one new thing comes out. And oh, I don't have a. It. Sorry, go ahead. No, new thing comes out. Everybody hates it. They complain about how much they hate it. They start, you know, a new thing happens. This new thing is also different. Everyone hates it and then wishes it was more like the last thing. 
All right, but to be fair, you could say the same thing about what happened with Halo 4 and Halo 5. Yeah, I said that- Everyone I'm hated Halo 4, and after Halo 5 came out, they warmed up to it. But that's- that That's not point. because- But Ariel, that's- that's- it's legit. Like, the reason people warmed up to it is because Halo 5 is so awful. Okay, but my point is that it actually happens fucking everywhere, except for Resident Evil 6. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 6. No, actually, I have seen people more commonly now saying Resident Evil uh, 6 isn't that bad. It's a good game if you look at it on its own. Wow. Yeah. And I, those people know, are fucking dumb. That game's awful. It happens. <laughs> it happens, man. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm still over in the I don't like the Wind Waker aesthetics camp. So yeah. disgusting. Yes, still, I was there when it first came out, and I'm still fucking there. <coughs> and I'm also very bad about the Link's Awakening remake that I like to pretend doesn't exist. It's very ugly. I kind of see more like the. The, the whole toy look in the static type thing is. I don't like it. <laughs> it was fine. No, I don't like them. Fucking Rumble <laughs> World or whatever on the DS. It didn't need to be in Zelda. It made sense as Pokemon to be cute little toys. <laughs> because that's just what everyone wants is Pokemon to be cute little toys that they could just have and collect them <laughs> all. <laughs> but no, it looks stupid. It's angry. <laughs> Granted, Nintendo as a whole has been kind of bugging me recently. Not not for anything in particular. Oh fuck. Except I think we've talked about Luigi's Mansion 3 though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um that they're just kinda like Wait a minute, what I are get doing? that their target audience is still kids, but it's a little weird that they're kind of ignoring the ones that are actually giving them money. Yeah, tend to have more money than kids. <laughs> but, yeah. but guys, it's Charizard. Don't you like Charizard? Fuck! <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I guess, but I don't really like Gen 1, so... I'm, I'm, I'm so salty about the Charizard favoritism. I understand that there's, like, monetary gain from it, but I don't care. <laughs> Charizard has literally become one of my least favorite Pokemon, and it was one of my favorite before. Me too. Like, I, I, and I chose Charmander the first time. Same. Well, no, that's not true. I chose Venusaur. Uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't win, and then I did a new game. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I, I, I chose Charmander. Accidentally released it. Didn't think just to turn off the game and restore <laughs> from a save. So I started over. <laughs> It shows okay. Pokemon. To be okay, fair, I did. Real. I when um when I played Gen Two, I accidentally released my Typhlosion, and for some reason, I thought the game saves when you release Pokemon, so I started over. Yeah, so same deal. A Ariel, what what's your? <laughs> did I miss something? What what happened with Charizard? <laughs> no, it's just. Do you did you not? It, they just keep giving not? him new forms in every game. There's just like a hard on for Charizard. And He's like everywhere. Blastoise and Venusaur get nothing. They got Mega Evolutions. Charizard gets two Mega Evolutions. He gets a Dynamax form. Like, he was he was the only Kanto starter in, in the vanilla Sword and Shield. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I haven't really been paying attention. Well, uh, God, can't we all be that lucky? Look, they're carrying fucking human shotguns. But the thing that I was going to complain about is Pikachu. Now, that's their mascot, though. It's kind of understandable. Pokemon Go, every single season and every single event, just gives us a Pikachu with a different hat. Yes. <laughs> Have they started they using Eevee? Hat? They did! <laughs> like, twice. Oh. <laughs> because the past few times- and occasionally they'll use the Gen 1 starters. But you can't evolve those, so you can't get a Blastoise with a hat. It has to stay a Squirtle. Oh. Um, but you can evolve the Eevees with flowers. 
the, the oh. real thing is that how many different Pikachus do we need? <laughs> Twenty. We got Pikachus with a Santa hat. We got Pikachus with a winter hat. We got Pikachus with a wish hat. Pikachus with a birthday hat. Pikachus with a New Year's hat. Pikachus with a flower crown. Pikachus with, I think, just flowers. Not even a crown. Pikachus, Pikachus with a Pikachu with hat. balloons now. We have balloon Pikachu. Well, no, balloon Pikachu, that was in yellow version. That makes I sense. I know. That's not the point. <laughs> Pikachu with another Pikachu on its head. <laughs> Not yet. Pichu with a Pikachu mask? <laughs> no, but there is Pichu with a hat on his head. Ra Raichu that you can devolve back into a Pikachu. Or Surprisingly, <laughs> no. Raichu uh, wearing a Pikachu mask? <laughs> Again, surprisingly, no. But don't say that too loud. Don't you know... I don't want to skip this part because I love the music, but I just want to beat the level. Oh well. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm fine. By the way, there's a handful of music tracks in this game with, like, voices, like, weird, like, chanting. Not the main thing, other songs. Um, if you play them in reverse, they're actually talking. Oh, I love that. One of them, one of them, well, one's from Halo 3. It's the Grave of Mine talking. It's literally just him talking about conquering humanity. Saying anything like profound or just like kill all humans, kill them. No, kill them. he doesn't talk like that. <laughs> okay. The grave mind talks sophisticated like. <laughs> like the reason he talks like in rhyme is because he's absorbed poets, and he oh, okay. has taken a liking to it. <laughs> Although in one of the books, wow, I died really fast. Um, in one of the books, uh, he's interrogating Cortana, because, spoiler alert, Cortana gets left behind at the end of this game, and she ends up being tortured by the Gravemind for a year. Oh. I feel like that was mentioned. How, how do you torture an AI? Uh, the Gravemind can, like, interface with her systems. Okay. <laughs> and he, he makes her basically experience death over and over again. Okay. <laughs> okay. And she, uh, he shows her, like, Chief dying constantly. It gets to a point where she literally can't tell if what she's looking at is real anymore. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. But, why did they make their AI have the capacity it, to She doesn't. Things? She doesn't. It's a new sensation that the grave mind manages to trigger. How? <laughs> Because it's sci-fi. Get over it, Ariel. Jesus fuck. No! The entire point <laughs> of artificial intelligence is that they don't have emotions. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> sure, eventually we're going to start trying to program emotions into computers. And then all hell's gonna break loose. Ariel, I mean, come on, like, Tay AI. <laughs> come on now. Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> like Asterisk, stop. I don't agree with that, I just like it for <laughs> meme. <laughs> However, I think that it's spread as a meme to, is a meme so much that the people who actually believe it were able to uh, proliferate a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have literal neo-Nazis. To be fair, I don't think that's why, but it's... I didn't say why, but it's a contributing factor. Well, yeah, it's not nothing. <laughs> oh fuck, I fell. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I wonder what that reference will be, like, completely... <laughs> Just gone. gone. 
for social younger people. people. Yeah. Like, I think, I think Life Alert's still around. Oh yeah, they are. I feel like I have a grandma at some point. I have a grandma, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. It's complicated genetically. <laughs> Technically, it is complicated. I don't talk about my birth mother. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot I had camo. Fuck this noise. You fool. Oh god, they saw me. Alright, where the fuck's the rocket launcher? There we go. More caskets. By the way, this level's almost done. It's so much shorter. <laughs> For real? Yeah, there's a bunch of enemies in a hallway. Not a hallway? Jesus. I'm afraid of what to do. Do I go forward or backward? <laughs> There's too much pressure. <laughs> you like a paper bag? <laughs> Thank you. No, but I did that pretty well, though. You did. <laughs> go, Arbiter. Go. Ah, damn. Kill That's the, the hallway. Oh, I'm way back here. Yes, hide behind the rock. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's a wall, Brian. Yes, hide behind the rock wall. <laughs> oh, there's a terminal here. I never knew that. Oh, fuck, there's more. You know, that's what they say when you show up. I mean, but it's I'm the only Arbiter. There's only one of you, but it still <laughs> happens. Oh no, there's more! Wait, there's only one. Oh no, there's one! Oh no, wait, it's that one! <laughs> it's the important one. <laughs> to be fair, they literally thought we were dead. Kind of threw us in a giant hole. I weren't expecting a fucking in the hole. flood monster to save us. I mean, yeah, I guess that is a thing I have vague memories of happening. Me and my enemy. Are you my... sure it wasn't the Sourlock pit? <laughs> yes. Can you be certain? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't Lando Calrissian? Who <laughs> went into the Sarlacc pit because he was curious. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference, really? <laughs> they look about the same. No! They're both worm things. The, I don't think the Grave Mines is exactly a worm. It's mostly a worm. They're saying. The Sarlacc Pit and Lando Calrissian were un indistinguishable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 let's hear what she has to say. <laughs> Alright, let's not fuck up this time. I mean... Can I get a checkpoint? What's this, what's this let's... It's like the Royal Way Ariel. I mean, yeah, I use the Royal Wii occasionally when I remember to. For a while I said I was gonna do it all the time, but too much effort. <laughs> Can you, like, back the fuck up? Oh, we're bringing that back? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just editing the part with 
Can you back up a bit, please? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the rings, Arbiter. The counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on these loyal beasts. The prophets were fools. Ah! I hurt my hand! <laughs> oh my god, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> They need a human to activate the the halo. They can't do it. Why? Uh, because halos were designed to only be able to be activated by forerunners and humans. I was gonna say it's because their hands are too big. <laughs> well, hmm. uh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going with that one. Uh, as a matter of fact. 